Hello and welcome to my escapist tutorial. Today, in this episode, we are going to be playing the new map for this escapist, the infamous Alcatraz. Yes, you can see, if you slide your um, thingy all the way to the right, you can see that I am currently the first place holder of this map. And there's only five other people that have escaped it, so I'm going to show you how to escape it in around three days. Um, I recorded a video a little bit ago, and I got four days. I wasn't really happy with it, and the high score kind of merges when you do that. So I'm hoping maybe if I get three days and the score goes up again, maybe it'll say that, and I'll get an even higher score. So the first thing you want to do is start out by creating a... Oh, well, maybe I should say something first. Um, Alcatraz is a DLC map that you can only get by purchasing for $2 or $1.99 on Steam. So, once you've gotten that all the way, you can start the game up and choose a character I like to play as this little guy here. And I like to name him Casey. So, once you've done that, you can go over to your bonus prisons, which are the DLC prisons, and other prisons that came with the game like Bamford and Kappa. So, so you want to select Alcatraz, of course, and hit continue. And this is a very important step. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to name the third police officer, which for me is Officer Chris, um, something you'll remember, like um, Officer Kill Me. Yes, because you got to kill him to get the purple key. Very complex game mechanic, but actually pretty simple. But I don't really feel like explaining it. So, yeah, just remember that. You gotta kill, kill me. Start the game. This is gonna be the Let's Play style. I'm not gonna really cut much. The last time I was playing, I'm cutting stuff, but I didn't really have a good format. So, here we got our notes as well. I never, and other stuff. Look at this guy. He's uh, khaki, and he's kind of seems angry, so yeah. Then you get this note from this guy that says if you bring him $250 at night on a dock, he'll take you away. So that's it. You gotta get $250 cash and you can leave the island. It's pretty simple. Yes, outside of the prison, of course, but... Um, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake this cell down. Um, I just grabbed a coat because I'm used to it. Don't beat me up. Um, so we're gonna sit here. And we're just gonna see who they got. Now that all that's done, I'm gonna grab a bunch of favors. Things that I can complete, of course. And if you hear the dog barking in the background, it's nice. You probably do. It's a very loud, loud dog. Anyways, we're gonna go to breakfast and grab all the forks we can. Three forks. What a shame. We need four total. Um, but we had, which we're not escaping day one. Uh, well, I do think it would be possible. It's not that fun. Gotta be ready to jump the gun when the thing's over. Yeah. I gotta remember to talk. Okay, W. Okay. So the door opens at that buzzer, so what we wanna do, what I wanna do, is because we need to get a lot of money, I wanna go get this timber job, but to do that I gotta beat up the guy who has it first, who is Henry. So, when I see Henry walking around down here, I'm gonna punch his little face and I'm gonna run away. And, did I get Henry? Yeah, I did get Henry. So, I'm gonna run, and I'm just gonna keep him on my tail. For a couple hours. It's a good thing Henry wasn't someone that liked me. I would love to t spend this three hours doing something else, but I, if I let him get back to his job just for a little bit, he probably will keep it, and 
It's very important that I get this job. It's... Ooh, oh, I think it's like $100 if I work it for two days. So, three hours is a good time spent for $100. Alcatraz. Um, it's more on the novice side of prisons. It's not, it's not as hard as HMP, and I would have to say the jungle compound was hard and harder. But I would say it's harder than Shankton and um, Stalak, which and Sound Future Pranks are most below it. I think the next guard that comes around, I'll let Henry hit me once so the guard gets mad at him and beats the crap out of him. Favor, 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 favor. Take it. Ooh, guard, sorry. Uh, I don't want to get knocked out because I'll lose a single dollar. That could be detrimental to me right here. And Henry's dead. So the next thing we have to do is build up our intellect a lot so we can get that job. period after roll call, so I'll have all the time in the Now, the threshold is a 70, so I'm going to need a lot of intellect. No worries. Because I don't think people apply for the job, unless it's lights out or something. So, I should be fine. started digging a tunnel. Um, yeah, there's reinforced concrete around this place, so that's definitely not the way to go. I think it was a small, um, oversight of the easiest way out of here. It's not like I'm abusing a glitch, per se, but it's a really easy way to go. So, what do I do? So I gotta get down to 25% of the team. Yeah. This place is really tame actually. Um, I was expecting it to be like an HMP with stun batons, but mm, it's pretty easy. Um, one of the things I noticed that was very unique about it is that the guards will patrol into these yeah, these little utility areas. Um, they won't go into the black utility areas, but, so you still have places to hide the contraband. But I was worried for a little bit. Oh my gosh, everyone wants people to die. Are in the exercise no, 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 exercise area. Uh, I can sit here and get some intelligence while everyone else is running on treadmills and the points. So, yeah. In some of the custom maps I've built, I've always put the bookshelves in the workout room, like in my 
our most popular map, Deep Black, it's a space prison. It's been crashing on a lot of people because of the glitch in the game and not the map itself. Okay, sweet, so I'm going to be skipping Shower Block yet, um, and I'm going to go get that job. Because Shower Block's pretty useless to me during this period of time. So I got the job, which is, I forget how much that pays the crack, but it's pretty good. It's the best, it's the best job here. Oh, hi, Jeff. <laughs> You're the guy with the file. I'm just gonna make sure I show up. I'll grab the dark and show up. And it didn't work. Whatever. I'm pretty sure you have to do something really bad to get the shower attention. So, the next thing you're going to want to do, um, make sure you collect it. So, let's shake down as many desks as you can every day. Um, well, do, until you have all the stuff you need, of course, and after that, it's going to use this issue. Oh, 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 two items we need in the first desk. We're going to need a cup of molten chocolate to down a guard. Like I said, boxes will kill me. It's a pretty easy guy to kill if you have some chocolate. Everyone is this is one easy kill. Duct tape or a contraband pouch. Ooh, I wasn't in that zone. So I'm gonna go put this stuff away. Um, during my last playthrough, the one I but I didn't like so trash was I had a trouble finding layers. Ah, 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 ah. Don't beat me up, please. Ah, I lost another down. Let's see what you got. Mm. We do not need timber, which is a real shame because that's one of the most common items to find. Another problem I had, I was shaking down cells so much, I kept dying and losing all the money I was earning for favors. I think I haven't completed a favor yet. I just realized I had zero cash income during day one. That's pretty bad, to be honest. two lighters and I have all the items I need on a piece of foil, but I'm pretty sure the piece of foil is trivial. Uh, contraband pouch is not necessary, but it makes things a whole lot easier. Back Please not me. I just made some contraband. Good item spawns for a person. 
that would have been good in HMT. If I find a trial, I'll give it to you, bud. Okay, so I'm gonna shake down some cells over here. Pop a little cold rest down and I'm gonna get them for breakfast. Because they will miss me. One of the minutes. Cable the cutter causes a lot of trouble. I think. I feel like lighters are going to be a problem to get open play. No, lighters are currently the only problem. If any. I still have it. A whole nother day to retrieve said lighters. Um, because I'm definitely not gonna get all the money I need today, but. Let's just get that much ramp out right now. Um, so, we wanted the pack of mints. It's for lamps. Lamps, 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 lamps. Plus lamps. Ooh, that's a little bit. Lens. Okay. Sorry for kicking you out of your seat, buddy. And okay, now we got my job to do. I forget. I want to see exactly how much it pays me. I think it's around 50. I originally thought 70, but that's the metal shop job, and I forget really much. So. Another thing to note is, currently you do not want to stand on this furniture container, because if you do, you can't get down. I did that once in my, once in each of my playthroughs, and I had to reload the night. Um, which kind of sucks. It's cool, so you can stand over here and toss your furniture, and you don't even have to move. Last wave. I make ten chairs. A few hours. And if, yeah, it's fifty. So I'll make a hundred bucks. I'm gonna spend two days. So, it's still fifty bucks to make, or a hundred fifty if for some reason I can break out today. That'd be really cool. A two-day escape. Out for lighters. And the stuff other people are asking me to find. The important thing to note is you do not want to be caught shaking down cells if you don't know how to do that, because the guards only have one job, and that's to shake down cells. Here's James last. Should have some stuff. Ooh. Should have some of the stuff. No, I should. Be. I'm not gonna drop that mission unless I need to make space though. I just hit no on that mission. Down. 
just try to do this. Exercise period. I'm moving slower than the guards. It's because my game is slow. Check my my journal stacks, which is plenty of Not 
strange that my little sleepy pill still has no use. So what I'm going to do now is because this is, since I've raided all the desks, I normally have nothing else to do. But, I do have to do something. I have to chip some w a wall down. What, are you selling a light? This wall right here, I just gotta chip it. Make sure no guards are walking by at just the right time. But this is the easiest way out of this prison. Guards come back. Ah. I think the guards will come to your streams. Out, even though I'm pretty sure I've said that phrase a few hundred times, is you always have to keep this at least at 4% or higher, otherwise you're actually breaking the wall. Ah! Ah! They saw me. Damn. Ah. I felt I was pulling it off. Um, doors are closing in a little bit. We have three morning roll call distractions. So put the forks away. And we still have tomorrow. Maybe there'll be another four day escape. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm just showing you guys how to escape on a quick pass. And the, so far, what I find is the easiest way possible. It's a very easy way compared to most. Almost center perks easy. Almost. Not quite as easy as center perks. Get 17 health. Actually, gotta make it. Oh, I stopped on an odd number. But better safe than sorry, I guess. Looks more like a gas can to be honest. Let's take this. Got molten chunk. What happened to my other stuff? Let's sort of put it in here. If I would have went to sleep without grabbing that stuff, it would have been gone. What the? Guards gonna jump through the walls and stuff. a bug I used at HMP Iron Gate, how the cameras still move when you're not watching them, I mean when you're not in the game, so you could run in front of the camera and wait for it to pass you and rejoin the game. Eh, it's a bit cheaty, but it works, so, you know, as long as you don't get caught. Go 
all the toilet paper I can do that. Shake it on this guy's desk. Hopefully find the lighter. Hopefully. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Hey hey hey, I'm trying to get some coffee on it. So it's looking like if the uh, cards fall in our favor, everything is going to be fine. As long as I get enough money and I find a lighter. A lighter, I remind you, a single It's essentially going to be the difference between life and death in this person. Place it in and you close it. Stuff likes to happen. Sometimes the guards like to shoot you when you leave your job. I don't know why. It's just a thing they do. Heat is zero. You're not shooting it. Everything is good. Everything. I can't look at that. See that? He just ran through the wall. What happens when I get low? Everyone is glitching out. And the owl. Yep. Kill me. Kill me. It's right here. Ah, dang it. So I could tail kill the after roll call. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oop, not mine, I'm hungry. Purple 
key. Actually, I don't know if I shut down my desk yet or not. I'll just carry this around. With me. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you're selling. Sure, if I find a file, I'll give it to you. Kill me. Oh. Okay, so now that he's angry at me, I can try to run away and not die to him. Drop us in This food you can even know. Okay, so I think I know what I can be doing right now. Wait, no, I think evening meal is at 16. Yeah. Two more favors I have to do with that. Yeah, 34, that's two favors or less. Heck, let's do some less. Wait, what did I have to distract him? Yeah, it's probably evening mail. Music is by far my favorite track. The uh, Alcatraz, Blue Fury, or Blue Fury. 
jerk here. It's another four day escape. Tomorrow I'll make the money just doing my job, so it's gonna be a fun day. Just don't make it. Go dig the wall out a bit. So this is very important. You gotta make sure you get it down four percent, otherwise your escape might be delayed a bit. Situate myself. Now, to escape, you're gonna need these four items. Actually, you don't need the contraband pouch. But it's definitely helpful, and I guess you technically don't need the guard outfit. And the bed dummy, technically, no, so all you need is a fork and a plastic entrance key, but chances would not be on your side. So I'm gonna wait until 2155. Let's see other people might know it's 9.35 p.m. I'm going to 
slap my turkey in the bed dummy. I'm gonna roll, run to roll call. I'm gonna quick, quickly escape by getting outside. Unsuccessfully. Escape to this prison. I'm just gonna reorganize my room a bit. I always feel like I'm missing something with this setup. Hopefully I don't get a shakedown. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, and Scummer, do you a cell class? David and Carter. Okay, so at 22.45, I'm gonna run outside so I can get enough time to get to the place I need to be. Before the bail. Okay, so... Put on my guard outfit so I'm not shot outside. My guard heat is going to rise until I get into this building. So it's pretty important I get in here. And I cannot take this wall to let so I'm gonna take it now. Flop the wall back in so they don't like arrest me for digging out walls. It's also another crucial step. I'm gonna run this way around the prison. Down, right, then up. The reason is the top side is blocked off by some bushes. There we go. Bushes the impenetrable video game wall. It felt like that was a necessity in this game too. So now, if you want to break out on the fourth day, you're gonna want to rush up to this dock with your 250. Bam! You have escaped, Alcatraz. Hey, I think I topped my high score, 36088. So now, if I check. Uh, right back, leaderboards. I should have the first place score unless someone took over in that small amount of time. Yep, yeah, 36088. I am crushing the leaderboard by over um, 10,000 points. Still says I took 10 days, but you know, I think I know what went wrong there with the code. Anyways, um. I hope you had a good time learning how to escape Alcatraz, the most infamous American prison. And as always, have a good day.